Hello and welcome to another Swift 6 from 123 Reg. This week I'm going to be talking about six ways you can generate more leads from your website. So first off is about making sure that you capture your current customers and the people who are buying from you, making sure that you capture their email addresses. There are many businesses that are running online that forget to get permission from the user to contact them with subsequent emails when they buy something. Now obviously the people that are buying from you are the warmest leads for subsequent sales so make it really important that when someone buys from you that you get their permission to email market to them again. The second thing is to make sure that your sign up form is really as short as possible. So. There is lots of evidence out there that supports the fact that if you put lots of different lines and you require lots of pieces of information from your users, it puts them off, it makes them give up. And actually, as you cut each line out, the number of people that complete the form goes up. So the ideal form would just include uh, two things. It would include the person's name and their email address. And that is all that you need. So try to aim for that with your sign-up forms. Um, the other thing to think about as well is don't make people hunt out for the sign-up form. You know, if you're being aggressive, you could think about putting it in a consistent place on every page. And of course, don't forget, if your form is really small, just two fields and a submit button, then actually that is something that you could put on, on almost every page of your website. So the third thing is to offer something in return for people signing up. Don't expect that people are going to willingly give up their email address to you. We are all sick of getting emails from companies that we don't think are relevant to us. Um, I certainly do this, I'm sure you do too. I delete about half of the emails I get simply because they're not providing any value to them, to me. I don't recall signing up for them in the first place and if I do then they don't seem to be able to understand uh, what I want to read about. So try to offer someone something of value in return for signing up. So that might be that they get access to extra content from you. It might be that they get access to a demonstration of your product. It might be that you will send them something for free afterwards. But don't expect them to give up their email address for nothing. Try to offer something of value. So the fourth thing to try to generate more leads is consider using a pop-up on your site. Now, pop-ups have a really bad reputation. They were all the rage in the noughties and the nineties. And uh, from a usability point of view, they are a, usually a massive no-no. But you can put pop-ups in certain areas on your site, and particularly uh, on your blog, um, that subtly draws the attention of the user and gives them a chance to sign up for more information. So I'm not saying hit the user as soon as they arrive there with a massive overlay or pop-up that demands their signing up before they can go any further. But if you've got someone who looks like they're reading a bit of your content, it looks like they're engaging with you a little bit, then put a pop-up in the corner asking if they want to get more information or if they want a free service or demo from you, as from my earlier point, that they can subscribe to your email list. The fifth thing, and I've just alluded to it just there actually, is to make sure that you're using your blog to try to generate uh, extra members of your email list. So there's lots of small businesses that they just focus on one particular area to generate leads for their business. They focus on their products and they ask people to sign up if they're interested in their products. But actually, anyone who's engaging with your website, anyone who's engaging with your brand is a potential customer or someone who might refer you to a potential customer. Um, and the, the blog is usually where a small business is able to get the most engagement from the users because you're providing, or you should be writing something of interest to the user. So use the blog and consider launching a pop-up uh, subtly on the blog in order to generate lists lists and emails of people that are reading that content. The other thing about it, of course, is that if you're marketing yourself on social me media, it might be your blog posts that you're actually promoting. So your blog might be the only thing that people come to look at. So make sure you take the opportunity and, and get, their, get their attention. Um, 
And then the sixth thing to do is to make them feel comfortable about signing up by showing them how many other people have decided to do exactly the same thing or providing some, some kind of testimonial or social proof. So if you're trying to generate sign-ups uh, for a newsletter, for example, tell them how many other people have already signed up for that newsletter. If you're trying to generate uh, an email list for potential sales, make it clear how many other customers you look after that are similar to, to this customer. So just reassure them, make them know that they're not the only person who's decided to sign up and that, that it's generally a good idea to do. Okay, that was uh, the 123 Reg SWIFT 6 on how to generate more leads from your website. I'll see you next time.